Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor, and today we'll be talking about definite integrals. Problem number 35, uh, we're given a graph. And so let's take a quick look at this graph. Uh, we have a function, f, and under that function, we can see that there's some area here. Uh, and in this little piece of area, we have 16 units of area. In this little piece down here, we have 5 units of area. And in this little piece over here, we have 11 units of area. Okay? So uh, we have 16 area here, 5 area here, 11 area here. And the question is asking us, well, what if we wanted to find the integral from A to C of f of x dx? Okay? Uh, sometimes we interpret definite integral as area. But that's sort of misleading because it's only area if you interpret it for functions that are positive. If the, if the function is a negative function, then we don't get to interpret it as area anymore. Like down here, my function is actually negative. So I don't get to interpret this as area it's kind of like it's negative area. And the reason for that is, remember when we're adding up a, an integral or we're taking an integral, what we're really doing is we're adding up a bunch of rectangles, right? And if you take a rectangle that's right here, let's say I had a little rectangle right here, and I wanted to add the area in that rectangle, well, the width of that rectangle is some value, and its height, unfortunately, is the functional value. And the functional value is negative. So I get a width, a positive width, times a negative height. And positive times negative is negative, so it starts adding this stuff in as negative area. So it's not actually area, and I can't just say, well, obviously, if I want the area between a and C, A and C, it's 5 plus 11 is 16. That's wrong because it is an area if this thing dips down below the x-axis. So it would be wrong to interpret this as area. What we need to interpret it as is if it's below the x-axis, it's negative area. If it's above the x-axis, it's positive area. So what we get here is if I want to find this, then I need to say, well, it's equal to this is interpreted as negative, so minus 5, and this is interpreted as positive, plus 11, and we end up with an answer of 6. So <clears throat> we could take other integrals here. We could take the integral from 0 to A, from 0 to B, from 0 to C, from B to C, all sorts of things, but we have to remember that if we're p putting this piece from A to B in it, then that's going to be interpreted as an area of negative 5, so to speak. 